so uh, the safety instructions for this, of course, are uh, wearing goggles. Um, it's always safe to wear a lab coat and some gloves, and that will keep you safe. Uh, just note that uh, hydrochloric acid is corrosive as well as sodium carbonate. Hi, my name is Mr. Alaremi, and I'm going to show you the rainbow physics experiment. First of all, you're going to need 33 grams of sodium carbonate dissolved in 100 milliliters of distilled water. And afterwards, you're going to need 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid. And you're going to need some universal indicator from pH 3 to pH 11. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is take your hydrochloric acid and fill it up to approximately two-thirds of the test tube. Then, after that, you'll need to add some of the universal indicator. Just take so squeeze it all in, and you'll notice that the universal indicator stays towards the top. This is absolutely fine. Now, for the next part, you'll need to tilt the test tube slightly. So it's very, very important that you do that. Tilt the test tube, and then after that, you're going to add approximately three milliliters of the sodium carbonate using a pipette. Now it's important when you do this, you do it very gently and down the side. What you'll notice is the sodium carbonate goes directly to the bottom and you'll immediately notice some fizzing as well. You'll notice a rainbow colour towards the bottom. If you want to move that rainbow colour slightly towards the top, just add some more of the sodium carbonate. Having a look at this, the test tube shows us a solution that correlates directly with the pH scale, where you have a strong acid towards the top, and as you go down it gets weaker until you get to a green neutral colour, and then a weak alkali and then a strong alkali. You can do this in different ways, uh, multiple times to get slightly better results. Here's one I did earlier. The equation for this is hydrochloric acid plus sodium carbonate gives us sodium chloride, carbon dioxide plus water. 2HCl plus Na2CO3 gives us 2NaCl plus CO2 plus H2O. We can use slightly different methods to actually get the fizz, and one of those is in the link in the description below. Uh, so um, you'll see me in the next video. Just as a footnote to the last video, um, this was an example of neutralization and neutralization is actually used quite a lot in industry and one of the notable examples would be the use of calcium hydroxide in, uh, 
in neutralizing acid rain in the soil. So that's just one of the ways in which um, we can use it in agriculture. So uh, I hope you found that helpful. Catch you later. Watch a movie or a dinner back at your place, don't matter what we do.